What does this snake have to do with this creek? And what do they have to do with climate change? At the southwest tip of Ontario, Lambton County is home to some of Canada's most fertile farms. But it wasn't always. The land was once brimming with lush grasslands, vibrant marshes, and winding waterways. But the past 200 years of human settlement has transformed these habitats. 70% of the area's wetlands are gone, along with almost all of its prairie land. These habitats are the natural home of important species, like the eastern meadowlark, who nourish the soil, the monarch butterfly, who pollinates plants, and the eastern hognose snake, who keeps pests at bay. Without healthy buffers separating pastures and fields from creeks and ponds, wild creatures have nowhere to live. What's more, when it rains heavily, there's nothing to keep precious topsoil from washing away. The ALICE program is helping farmers and ranchers adopt nature-based solutions that fight climate change and biodiversity loss on the lands that their livelihoods depend on. In Lambton, ALICE helps farmers plant native tall grass along a winding creek, recreating the natural bank conditions that used to be there. This doesn't just restore the homes of species at risk, it also captures carbon from the air, sponges up flood water, and slows soil erosion, protecting the fields nearby. It's a true grassroots change. Nature-based climate solutions, like building buffers along waterways, make farmland more sustainable for both humans and wildlife. Because our rural lands, home to cows and chickens, should be home to insects and snakes too.